probably one of the most difficult things for any creator is to prioritize things in life when you have a lot of big things going on. YouTube, business, money, family, things. This is Antonio. He's going to tell us a little bit about how his story and how he came to the realization of what is actually the most important. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you guys grow a YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives. And Antonio's channel changes a lot of men's lives. Why don't you just tell us real quick about what you do there, uh, Real Men Real Style. All right guys, so you know that most men can dress very well. I help them by using science and military history to make style relevant so that they can use it as a weapon to get what they want out of life. By the way, 15% of our audience is actually women. Uh, they they love Dressing the, their husbands. Not no, because a lot of women they just they realize the principles I talk about are applicable to women's fashion and women's style. And I'm very right brained I t focus a lot on scientific studies on formulas that just make style simple to understand. When you first came to YouTube, you already had a business going, yep. and then you were married or are married. Yep. <laughs> have kids, family, and you have employees, people who work for yep. you. That's a lot. And then you decide to add YouTube on top of this. Yeah, I, you know, I was starting my work day at about 5 a.m. I just decided, hey, why not start it at 4 a.m. and go ahead and film videos in that, in that next hour. And that's, I mean, it, it was hard. It was not easy. And it's something, though, if you want it, it you're going to find time. You're going to make it a priority to start creating. And you may have to cut some things off. I have to admit, I did cut some things off. Uh, I really don't have much, didn't have much of a social life. I was uh, probably not spending as much time as I should have with my kids and my family. And uh, I just made YouTube creation a priority. YouTube for me was the marketing arm of my clothier. But when the clothier basically wasn't making enough money and I had to shut it down, um, it was tough. You know, you're, you're trying to figure out how can I make money? How can I get this business to survive? And during that transition phase, it was something, again, I'm putting in 80, 100 hour weeks. I'm spending my wife, you know, I remember we had, had just had a baby and uh, my daughter Lana and she's breastfeeding while she's editing a video at the same time. And I'm, you know, I, I knew it was kind of a breaking point when I'm like telling her she needs to go faster. And she's like, what more can I do here? You know? And that's not the way that you want to that you wanna treat the most important person in your life. You know, when you're working 80 to 90 hours a week, it's not because most of us volunteer to work that much. We're, running, we're working that much because we have to. And uh, so my sister, uh, I lost her in 2009 to suicide. Um, you know, it was just, it was horrible. And yet I was so tied to my business that I had to drive, I drove down to Austin, had to deal with the police, had to deal with everything that goes into it, like a suicide. And I am driving around still taking business calls with my sister's urn but in between my legs. And I remember thinking, there's gotta be a better way. This isn't why I got into business. Why am I still needing to take business calls? I can't even mourn my little sister. And I remember it was just a wake up call. I am doing things wrong. And I've gotta, I've gotta refigure this out. So uh, when you have like, life is gonna hit you. Life is going to tear you down. I don't care who you are, how strong you think you are. I know many of you guys have experienced this. So when life kicks you like between the legs, it just hits you right in the nose and you, I some, look at, there is a little bit of good there and, and that good maybe you just realize you can't do it all. You've got to create systems so that you can free yourself from that job. You've got to prioritize and the, prior, prioritize is, is, a, is actually not a really good word. Priority is a better word because there can only be one priority. When you realize that, you have to put something as number one. And for me, it really was my family, it was my kids. It was wanting to build and have a strong relationship with them for the limited time I'm, I'm here on this planet. So knowing that, I started having to make some very hard cuts. I had to tell people, I had to, no became my most, you know, my most common word. I couldn't just create content for free. I couldn't just do this because I felt like it was bringing benefit to my company. I had to actually measure the ROI. I had to say, you know, turn a lot of people down. Not, some of them were offering me money. A lot of them just wanted me to create content for free. You know, oh, here's some free shoes. Well, you know what, I can't do that. You have to pay for this. It's not that I'm a mean person or I'm a greedy person. I just simply have to be able to buy milk. I've gotta be able to put you know, food on the table for my family. I've gotta be able to pay my employees. So there's a sign I have up and it's on my desk. Is what you're doing now worth the time you could be spending with your families? You've got to take a stand. You've gotta know that you are worth quite a bit, develop your skill set, find out what's valuable, and then deliver that to the market, and uh, you'll be rewarded. Yeah. And one of the reasons you're creating is because you want to experience freedom. 
You want to yep. experience independence. You want to do something that you love. But I think it's, there's this flip side that what happens is you can give up being enslaved to an employer and instead be enslaved to work itself yeah. as a business owner where you're just driving and going and going. People need to measure their time. Yeah. And if you actually measure where you're spending your time, that's what's important to you. So you may say your kids are important. You may say your boyfriend's important, but are you really spending time with them? Are you really yeah. listening to them? And you know, it's, it, it's, it's eye-opening. You've gotta be honest with yourself. I think there's a culture now in the creator community where it's grind, 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 push, 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 work, 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 work. Like, if you're not working 24 seven, the other guy is, and he's gonna beat you all day long, right? And I think that is, I just disagree with that. I think you will quit. <laughs> you, I think we were designed to need rest yep. and family and relationships and socialization. I treat myself like a high level athlete and a high level athlete does not train 24 seven. Right. He trains or she trains quite a bit. Like my, my daughters are figure skaters and figure skaters are on the ice quite a bit, but they're also off the ice. They also are unplugging. They're also resting and getting enough sleep because if they don't do this, they're not gonna perform. So I've instituted a 35 hour work week in my company. And the reason I do this is because I want people to work intensely for 35 hours and then they're done. Get, get off, go get some rest. But when you're there, when you're working, give it your all, give it your full attention and be very careful of things that seem urgent but are not important. So there's something called the priority matrix. Go check it out. I, I know I've got it over on my website. And it's very scary. I mean, you wanna focus in on what is urgent and important and what is important and not urgent. Be very careful of things that are not important and urgent. Those are like the souls, like, oh, someone responded to me on Twitter, I need to stop everything and switch, which there is a cost to switching your mindset, going to a different platform, and all of a sudden you jump over there, no. This is especially timely for me because I have seven kids, we have seven kids in eight years, yep. and my things I need to say no to grows longer and longer and longer every day. Yep. And I have to remind myself that Tim, this would actually be good for you to do for your business, yep. but it would not be good for you to do this for your family. You know, like you would be taking time away from them to do this and they're already not getting enough time. Yeah. And there are very simple so, things you can do. I've told you, you just need to double your prices. And it, you know, it, you know it, that may scare some people, but try it. You know, money is not my main driver, but freedom is, and being able to have the freedom to spend time with my family is key. You've said this before, that you say no to good things to be able to say yes to great and amazing. Antonio has one and a half million subscribers on one, YouTube. Oh, come on, man. We're like 1.7 on one. Okay. I don't know, 1.8, something like that. He's got a lot of subscribers. Yeah. And for a lot of people who have that number of subscribers, they are going crazy on their channel because they are trying to manage lots of different things. They've got so much going on, whether it's opportunity, whether it's just creating videos or something. But what I like about your story, Antonio, is you're one of the few stories where it's like, you can have a, a, a sizable YouTube channel, and how much time do you spend on your YouTube channel, let's say a month? Not very much, I don't know. Maybe That's the point. Four hours? So, like, I, it's, it's not funny, because he's yeah. slacking, but it's because it's still, his channel's still doing well, it's just because he's put systems in place, yep. and he has put what's most important first. If you guys wanna learn more about how to look like Antonio, no, no, uh, don't try to look like me. <laughs> but if, if you actually care a little bit about using style as a tool to get what you want out of life, man or woman, and I know many of you guys have men in your lives who you want to send to my channel, make sure to do that. Yeah. But I, if you are not subscribed to Tim's channel, what, what are you thinking? Come on, click, click on it that now. subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe now. Please subscribe, like, you know, it's like. <laughs> Comment, share. I, I love this guy, this guy is amazing. I just put out a video, 10 YouTube style channels better than mine. You know what? The algorithm loved it because people binge watched those other channels. The people mm. I promoted loved it yeah. because I promoted their channels win, win, win. 